Ah, first game as phase. So this is going to be my first ever game. I'm going to try out this build here. Nothing crazy. Um, I'm going to I'm going to put some feedback in on the actual hero itself and the build and uh, I'm going to see if I can get the perfect build for her. So sit back and relax. Okay, so the first real engagement is coming up now. Um, this this Greystone thinks he can really fuck around with us. Uh, so I, I flash him, I blind him a little bit, I slow him and get the root in right as he jumps, and um, and she gets the jump in. I pull her back, unfortunately we do get Grux pulled, I do have my flash up so I do flash, and he can't see us. So now I'm about to fucking, we're about to put the hurt on this guy. So overall, like when it comes to ganks, she's the anti-gank master here. With that blind, you don't know where they're going, you can do some good jukes, and that root and slow is really good. So overall, I really like her kit. Her ult is unstoppable. With a yin or someone like a twin blast or something, it's just unstoppable. Um, the only thing I don't like about her is you just can't frontline with shit. Any other person like um, Decker, you can build tanky early on, but I feel like her, you have to build some kind of early game health regen. As you see here, I'm trying to I'm trying to frontline for our, our team here, and it's just not working a whole lot. And um, I'm taking a lot of damage. Uh, we end up losing, I think, two or three in this engagement. I think just because I was I was not doing a whole lot. I was trying to roots and I was trying to flash, but overall, in big team fights like this, she's not that good. So I have that early game Savage Remedy just for that health regen to give to my carry. Um, so we're, we're chasing this guy, I decided to pop my ult, um, we make him ult, which is always a good thing. Um, and then I was about to start rooting him, and then I see the, the team, the team comes in. So I go a different path, and I pull her over to my side, and I think we just juked the shit out of them. But they weren't done. They, oh no, they weren't done, they're coming back, Rux is trying to come back in. You see that, oh, that little, that little health regen that I just got, that spike, so good um, oh she does get the jump and I pull her back just to be safe and that was a great play on both her and me so I catch a Murdoch out of position here unfortunately I don't have my team to back me up freaking freaking Fang goes in with barely any health <clears throat> I get hit by the ult instead of him but I do connect my Iggy here and we're going in on him he's doing the war prime dance nothing too crazy and then, um, it's just game over for him, but it's not done yet. Seb's going in, he's going ham, I'm gonna connect to him, I'm gonna connect to him right now, I'm gonna pop my ult to see if we can get ha that kill, yes, ooh, he's getting fucked right now, and I'm gonna see if I can secure it with that long shot, and Seb gets it, so that was a great play on us, and I do get so much CP from hitting that, ooh. So when you're playing against a phase, my recommendation is to go for her first. Her repositioning tool is clutch if you're chasing down a hero. Say if we were to go after that Greystone, she can easily just pull her back. But by going for her initially, um, it could be very clutch and help your team a lot. So I get that blind on Greystone and I do ult. Look how fast Yin is wiping now. Oh, we get him to pop his ult, and I immediately start going for that root. I do get the root. Unfortunately, he does jump away, and that's the end of that. I'm going to see if I can help that Seb out there going in. Clutch. Shit's going down, though. <clears throat> but Yin picks up the kill. Um, I was going to go try to get that Gideon, but he was kind of a little far. So uh, we do retreat, and it was that. So this is another one of those weird engagements uh, where I really don't know where I belong. Do I stay behind my frontliners or do I try and tank as much damage um, for my characters as possible? I don't know. But anyways, I'm going to see if I can help this set out. I'm going to go go for the root on Murdoch. He's trying to burst me down a lot. Um, as you can see, I do have cast converter on, so I'm going to connect to that Fang and I'm going to pop it immediately so he gets that health regen too. Just a little bit. Then I'm going to try and get that root in to help my Sev. And then um, it's just kind of game over from there. We're, 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 trying to, we're trying to get these kills. We're trying. 
or dive in this tier two. Ended up not really working, but I do connect my my uh, my yin back, um, and so far that was a decent engagement on us. Three to one. Actually, my fan goes in clutch right here. I actually didn't realize he did that until after I popped my stun, but um, but he got that kill. So four to one engagement. We only lost Iggy. So I mean, pretty much a four for nothing. <laughs> So Yin and I just get orb and I immediately ult. I see as she is in there like fucking swimwear. Again kills left and right. I'm trying to I'm trying to root people, slow people, anything. I'm about to pop cast converter to give myself and her a little bit of a little bit of sustainability. I pop barrier of the will for my teammates, and our team is just going in clutch. I get that root, that oh so important root. And um, it looks like it's gonna go all right, but then the phase pulls him back. So clutch, so clutch. But that was an interesting team fight. As you can see, I was backlining while my carry was frontlining because I gave her the sustain. Oh, that's I know it's really weird, but a backline support and an assassin support is really it's really an interesting concept. So I'm really interested to see how you guys play her. I'm going to play her pretty much as a a backline support, supporting our carry and frontliners for health regen, repositioning, that sort of thing, stuns, roots, all that sorts. Um, and I'm also very curious to see how you guys build her. My late game build is uh, Barrier of Will, Thermo Bond, Tempered Plates, Cast Converter, of course Wards, and my last card is Clear Heart to give me... 15% extra health regen, which would be really clutch on her. But I want to know how you guys build her. Um, I want to know how you guys play her, how you position yourself. Um, she is probably the most different hero that they have ever released. I'm really looking forward to this. <clears throat> this Greystone won't fucking die. He already has his goddamn ult from, from what, 30 goddamn seconds ago. I'm about to pop cast converter. Um, I'm about to pop that because I got ulted by everything. I'm just dying. But um, I we, we do end up getting the kill. We do end up getting the win with 12 assists. No kills. Three deaths, unfortunately. But um, it's I. Overall, guys, I think she is an awesome hero to play. I think she's so much fun. I really enjoyed playing her. Um, hopefully, people don't abuse that repositioning tool. Um, I haven't played with a phase yet i've only played um as phase so um but we'll see how it goes right we'll see how it goes um anyways guys let me know how you like this video in the comments below let me know how you like her in the comments below and i will talk to you all later goodbye